Hi, this is Jeff and Mark here. We're going to introduce you to this little fellow. This is a pack rat, or a Sonoran wood rat to be precise, but it's what everyone in our area knows as a pack rat. They are notorious for probably doing more damage than any other animal that we have in the area. I get calls from customers where they've had to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to have their vehicles rewired. They've had to call in electricians because their lights in their house weren't working or their alarm system was going off during the night. The pack rat is the one that is responsible for that. Reason being is they continuously chew on things. And if that's your wiring um, or your, your uh, drywall or studs in the attic it's enough to just drive you crazy and keep you up at night but the pack rat is the one that we probably get more calls on because people can't solve the pitter patter of little feet that they've got going on in their attic space at night we do trapping we haul them out of there that way we know that they're gone we don't put any poisons out because guess what poisons do kill animals and there is nothing worse than having the stench of death in your house at night or during the day when you're there and all you can smell is is a rotting little body the other thing jeff too that we need to point out to to our customers that and anybody that wants information on pack rats is that these pack rats right here are more like a squirrel and what they do is when they get the poison they carry it back to their nest just like squirrels do up north and they save it for the winter time so a lot of times when you're putting poison out and you go and check the uh, the box and you see that all the poison has gone it doesn't necessarily mean that you killed them it's just that they're collecting it yeah it's not uncommon for us to go and clean out a pack rat nest and find tons of poison that they've been accumulating for uh, over the years um, so we found the most effective, the safest way for having your pets around and all that so you're not leaving poisons on your property is to do trapping. So that's the way we've, we do it and that's what we advocate on.